taking a private jet instead of a 40-minute drive, performing shows for foreign dictators? Some of your favorite stars have done some pretty crazy things to put dollars in the bank. Kim Kardashian stopped at nothing to achieve her status as a pop culture icon. Long gone are the days she was cleaning Paris Hilton's closet and vying for the day she would become a household name. Kardashian has made it. But the journey to her status as a successful billionaire has been highly criticized. No one can forget the star riding the coattails of her infamous sex tape to fame and fortune. And especially not her then-boyfriend and co-star, Ray J. The singer is calling out his ex for greed and shamelessness in what he calls a sex tape deal that Kardashian and her mother Kris Jenner had been behind all along. Ray J, whose real name is William Ray Norwood Jr., claimed that Keeping Up With The Kardashian star has been lying for years about the tape's release. He told the Daily Mail, I've never leaked anything. I have never leaked a sex tape in my life. It has never been a leak. It's always been a deal and a partnership between Kris Jenner and Kim and me, and we've always been partners since the beginning of this thing. Why did you make a sex tape? Because I was horny and I felt like it." Norwood went on to admit he feels like a victim of the tape, which he claims stunted his career and caused many to blame him for its leak. Conversely, Kardashian went on to become one of Hollywood's biggest celebrities, with a $1.4 billion net worth. Nicolas Cage's greed got the best of him when the actor went bankrupt after his endless buying sprees. The actor once had a $150 million fortune to his name, thanks to his many roles in high-profile films throughout the 90s and early 2000s. His fame and fortune were short-lived, however. His status as one of Hollywood's highest-paid actors resulted in property foreclosures and IRS debt. His assets once included 15 luxury properties, European castles, a deserted island in the Bahamas, a nine-foot burial tomb, a former Iranian Shah's Lamborghini, a pet octopus, and more. He even outbid fellow actor Leonardo DiCaprio for a 70 million year old dinosaur skull. It's called greed, old sport. Hmm. The National Treasure actor blamed his dire status on his money manager, saying in court documents that he sent him down the path to his financial ruin, per CBS News. Cage currently resides in Las Vegas because Nevada has no income tax due to the heavy tourism. He starred in the 2022 film The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, a parody that celebrates the actor's numerous roles over the years. As for what he would tell a younger version of himself, Cage told People, I would say it's gonna be all right. I would say that we're going to make some movies down the road that you're going to have that feeling again. Jennifer Lopez may still be Jenny from the block, but that doesn't mean she hasn't been involved in Hollywood greed. Activists for the Human Rights Foundation called the actor out for accepting money from what they call some of the world's worst thugs. The star reportedly made more than $10 million in performances for foreign dictators and diplomats. According to The Independent, Lopez performed for a Turkmenistan dictator, a country that HRF says uses imprisonment as a punishment for political retaliation. Lopez's publicist, Mark Mark Young tried to put out the media fire by saying at the time, had there been knowledge of human rights issues of any kind, Jennifer would not have attended. But Thor Halvorsen, president of HRF, says Lopez's list of alleged shady business dealings extends far beyond this one instance. According to HRF, Lopez sang in Belarus, the only dictatorship in Europe. She was also booked to sing for the birthday of a Russian bureaucrat, but the event was canceled following his arrest. Halvorsen responded to Lopez's claims that she was unaware of the human rights issue arguing that a repeated pattern of behavior is different from a one-time mistake. He added, This is not about ignorance. It's about greed. Lopez can hardly claim ignorance of the nature and impact of her actions as she cozies up to dictators and their enablers. Paris Hilton is best known for being a famous heiress to the massive Hilton Hotel's fortune. And she's never been one to shy away from her lavish lifestyle. She got her start in modeling in her teen years, signing with Donald Trump's management agency and walking in New York Fashion Week. Her real skyrocket to fame was a leaked sex tape in 2003 that sent the media tabloids into a spiral. All that fame must have gotten to her head, however. After reports claimed that the star gave a long list of demands on set of the 2010 film The Other Guys. As per Page Six, a source claimed the singer required live lobsters to be prepared for her and a bottle of Grey Goose vodka, among other things, just for one day on set. Hilton's own sister, Nikki Hilton, called out Paris for being greedy in the YouTube documentary This Is Paris. This was after the star admitted that she didn't want to stop working until she became a billionaire. The heiress claimed in the documentary that she hadn't taken a vacation since she was 15. I just, I love making money. 
It's no question that President Donald Trump had been called out for his greed, especially when it comes to his tax returns, or lack thereof. As of 2023, the former president's company, the Trump Organization, has been on trial for tax evasion. According to a report by The Guardian, the prosecution team claims that Trump avoided paying taxes by giving a close executive up to $1.76 million in perks, like apartments, luxury cars, and college tuition handouts. Prosecutor Susan Hoffinger opened her case by saying, this case is about greed and cheating, cheating on taxes. However, the defense team alleges Trump is not to blame for the actions of former chief financial officer of the Trump Organization, Alan Weisselberg. Defense attorney Susan Nales said during the trial, so when the prosecutor said the Trump Organization did something illegal for Alan Weisselberg, what they really mean is that Alan Weisselberg did something illegal. The evidence will show the prosecutor's entire theory of the case makes no sense. Even so, the New York Times reported that Trump paid no income tax for a decade between 2000 and 2015, and paid just $750 in income taxes in 2016 and 2017. They are largely considered to be the most hated couple in reality television history. But for Heidi Montag and Spencer Pratt, the rumor mill didn't matter so much as the paychecks continued to roll in. The couple, who is most known for their time appearing on the hit MTV show The Hills, remember their glory days of getting six-figure paychecks for episode appearances fondly. Those days are long over, however, as greed got the best of their fortune, which was once valued at $10 million. Montag told People, I felt like I was someone I wasn't. We had business managers who told us to stop spending, but we acted like we knew what we were doing. All right. I'm sorry. Her luxury wardrobe, a team of bodyguards, thousands of dollars in wine, and a million-dollar crystal collection are just some of the items Montag and Pratt were accustomed to spending money on during their peak of their reality TV careers. Their hunger for fame and their expensive tastes ultimately got the best of them, as the couple had to move into Pratt's family home to live rent-free after squandering their million-dollar accounts. Having tasted the bitter consequences of their greedy endeavors, the couple has admitted to resorting to desperate measures to make money. In 2010, they revealed that they staged a media ploy, faking their breakup and divorce in order to make money. Y'all had a fake divorce. Yeah, right? just for, for a, a little, cover. Little cover story. <laughs> Fans have criticized makeup mogul and mega-celebrity Kylie Jenner for being a bit out of touch. The Kylie founder came under fire for using her private jet for trips that could have been easily made by car. According to a since-deleted tweet obtained by BuzzFeed News, the account Celeb Jets revealed that Jenner's jet had been making 17-minute trips. The trip in question, from Camarillo to Van Nuys, would have taken around 40 minutes by car. While it's not confirmed that Jenner was on the plane at the time, fans are calling her a quote, climate criminal for her greed and lavish lifestyle. But her flight miles weren't the only thing fans were upset about. The mom of two was criticized in 2021 after she posted a GoFundMe campaign on her Instagram story in order to help raise money for a makeup artist. As per CNN, the since-expired story caused a firestorm from fans who accused the reality star of not paying the medical bills herself. The initial goal of the campaign was $10,000, to which an account under the name of Jenner only donated $5,000. One user tweeted in response, Kylie Jenner really asked us for money like we made the Forbes list. The sky's never the limit for Elon Musk, and neither is space. Though he continues to dominate the world in wealth and influence, he's no longer the richest man on the planet. As per CNN, the Tesla CEO dropped to the number two spot behind Bernard Arnault, CEO of French luxury brand LVMH. That doesn't mean he has any plans to stop investing in private companies like SpaceX and Neuralink, a company that seeks to put chips in human brains. Musk is worth a whopping $126 billion as of this writing, the bulk of which is involved in his Tesla company. Many consider the billionaire to be greedy, but he has no problem defending his wealth. When asked in a TED interview by Chris Anderson how the Twitter CEO feels about single individuals having the same amount of money as a billion of the world's poorest individuals, Musk didn't miss a beat. He said, For sure, it would be very problematic if I was consuming, you know, billions of dollars a year in personal consumption. But that is not the case. In fact, I don't even own a home right now. I'm literally staying at friends' places. It's not as though my personal consumption is high. I don't have a yacht. I, I really don't take vacations. Musk has also been accused of erratic behavior on Twitter that's angered Tesla investors, but the CEO assured his critics, saying he has yet to miss a major meeting at the company since buying Twitter. 